Imagine not dragons, but being this hypocritical and malicious. Strap on like you're a not straight woman because Myron and the, the other one, Fitzgerald, are gonna regret spawning from whatever campfire they spawn from. Alright, Fit is Myron and Fresh is Walter. Fresh and Fit have done it again. They've taken down another video criticizing them. The creator whose video they took down was Lyrix. Now I like watching Lyrix and I was so sad when I saw that the twin sisters took down his video. On the bright side, Lyrix didn't get a strike on his channel, but he had to keep the video blocked or else his channel was potentially gonna get a strike. YouTube has his video block, which means that nobody can access it anymore. Sorry for the change of lighting, I just turned on the ring light, I always forget to turn it on. Lyrics's video was fair use, meaning that his content was transformative. He didn't merely re-upload Fresh and Fit's clips, he added commentary to it. Therefore, Fresh and Fit has no right, or had no right to take it down. I thought Fresh and Fit would stop falsely copyright striking videos after YouTube gave him a big warning about it. Like YouTube literally said that they were gonna take down their channel if they didn't stop it. And it seems like they're willing to risk it all. That thing they're doing about falsely copyright striking people is not only wrong, it's also illegal. So in order to stand up for that, we're gonna make a video about the thing that they don't want us to talk about, you know, the Brittany Renner thing. And they won't be able to take down this video because I'm not gonna use any clips. But don't worry, it'll still be entertaining. So just strap on, like I said before, and let's get right into it. So Lyrics' video, which again, Myron and the other one struck down, was about Brittany Renner owning them. Brittany Renner is an alleged gold digger. I don't really want to get into that, you know. I just want to talk mess about Fresh and Fit, so I'm just going to skip uh, through her backstory. Okay, I'll not talk about what happens in the important clips and give my commentary over them. Clip starts with Myron saying that women want resources and men want checks, and the goal of their podcast is to help men understand how women operate. Brittany asks Myron to describe women like her because in an off-camera conversation, he said that he warns men about women like her. She also asked what's so special about him. He says there's nothing special about me. If you watch my other videos, you know that these two both think that they're special. They don't pay to get laid, so they are much better than those low-value men who do pay to get laid. They do, however, use their platform to sleep with women who want to be on said platform. Myron was on seeking arrangements trying to find a sugar baby, and Fresh was true. <laughs> Sorry, it was so pathetic, I had to cut. But no, ladies and gentlemen, they don't pay for checks, and they are better than the men who do. I wish I could play the clips, but I can't. Back to the video, Brittany says that the Fresh and Fit podcast is not for her and that she herself doesn't see anything special in it. However, she doesn't devalue what they do and even though the podcast has no value for her, she can see how it can help other people. She then points out how Fresh and Fit say that women aren't special, yet they have a podcast dedicated to how to get women. Very good point, by the way. To an interesting conversation, but instead Myron asks her why she's getting emotional. I mean, I don't even know what he's talking about, um, because whenever I saw the clip, she looked pretty calm to me. Fresh asks Brittany who Brittany Renner is, and Brittany responds that she used to be someone that posted about hating men, but deep down knew that she needed a man if she wanted to fulfill her dreams of having a family and traveling the world with the love of her life. Fresh then asks her if she thinks that if a girl posts her body and says anti-men things online, she would lower the number of men who would want to be with her. Brittany says yes, but that's not a reason for someone like her to settle. Even if that man who takes her seriously and is in the league she wants is rare, she's willing to find him. Byron starts talking about how men and women have opposing goals. He said men want checks and women want resources. He also said women and men are different despite what mainstream media says. I thought this was kind of random. They never contest any of her points or answer any of her questions, and that really bothers me. They just talk about the things they always talk about, you know, on the podcast, saying that stuff about men and women, you know? Anyway, this is where things get a little more heated, but at some point in the podcast, Myron tells women if they have a man that is in the top 1%, hold on to him, even if he screws some other women, he'll come home to you. What? 
So, women, you should stay with a serial cheater just because he's considered a high-value man and he's desirable. But if you cheat, you're a tool, by the way. No one should tolerate cheating because that just tells the cheater that they're clear to cheat, you know? You and your partner made a commitment, and if one of you breaks that, then the other has the right to leave. Don't blame women for wanting someone who's faithful if they're in a relationship, you alpha bastard. Myron can't stop digging his hole and says that cheating is nothing. When you're a woman who got cheated on by a guy, is nothing. But if you're a man, especially an Alpha Chad Model 1000, getting cheated on is everything. And you better put that tool back in the garden where it belongs. Hoeing. Alright, I was gonna end the video there, but then I noticed after editing that my video was only 5 minutes and 49 seconds. And to monetize it with mid-roll ads, I needed to get to 8 minutes. So, here I am making some bonus content. Don't be mad, we both win. Alright, so Fit explains later why it's okay for men to cheat, but it's not okay for women to cheat. Fit says that it's different because women have to get to a certain emotional point to cheat on a man, but men don't have to get to that certain emotional point. According to him, men can love their girl and still go have checks with other women. But a girl can't love her guy and just farm another physical connection with another man. Fancy me this fit. What you say is true, alright? Let's assume it's all true. Let's assume that men are just visual creatures just who just wants checks. And women are just uh, purely emotional creatures. Why should it be such a big deal to an alpha Chad that his woman formed an emotional bond with another man? If they're so physical and so lacking in like emotion, then why would they value that emotional bond that they hold with their woman. What does it matter that she goes on and screws Chad too? Love obviously doesn't matter if it's a scenario because if you loved her so much dude then why did you break your commitment with her? Why weren't you honest about wanting an open relationship or at least a relationship where you can be open and she has to be closed? This scenario throws love out the window and commitment out the window and just assumes that we're gonna go with our most primal instincts. <laughs> Ooga booga we're Chads. Because again assuming he he's right, men want checks and women want resources, then men are just gonna sleep with whoever they want whenever they want to and women are just gonna move on from man to man for their resources, you know? Cause that's what they do in this scenario, that's their primal instinct. The thing is, with a relationship, the man is basically saying that he's not gonna sleep with anybody else and the woman is also saying that she's not gonna sleep with anybody else. They're just gonna be together, they're not gonna see other people emotionally or physically. You pig. Anyway, the clip continues. Fit then says that he tells women who dumped a high value man because he cheated to call them. Presumably so they can get back together. That is so humiliating. Of course he's gonna cheat again after that if you take him back just like nothing. So according to Fit, the woman has to be a doormat while the guy just gets to have everything, I guess. They have the benefits of monogamy and polygamy. And their woman essentially can't cheat on them back, you know, it's a paradise for that pig. Listen, I don't care how high value you are, you're doing something that is morally wrong. Not only morally wrong, but very unfair. Imagine staying with one of those men who don't respect you or your commitment. I'd be so miserable. Fresh then says that even if she does find another high value man, he's probably also a cheater. If that's true, then we need to make this behavior unacceptable. We need to stop listening to people like Fresh and Fit who say, Oh, you know, if you get to this certain level, then you can have as many women as you want while you're in a relationship. It'll be great, bro. Yeah, they're just pathetic guys who hate women. Anyway, that's it. If you want to follow a video about the stuff that Fresh and Fit said about black women, give me some engagement and I'll think about it because I'm kind of done with Fresh and Fit for now.